If you're bored, get a workout in, bro. Trust me. If you don't have a million dollars, you can go higher. Trust me. If you ain't as fit as you want to be, you can go higher. Higher. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all know who it is. It's your boy Dorian Chosen, bro. And y'all joining me again on my journey to escape the economic slavery. So today we got another point that we coming at y'all with, man. So you're sitting at a house, right? The reason you looked on, clicked on this video, you probably just chilling, you bored or something, you on your phone. You're sitting on the couch, you're watching TV, and your life's passing you by. And you don't know what to do, man. You're like, bro, what do I do? So I'm going to tell you what I do to help me. It was boredom to my advantage. So first things first, in order to make this thing work for you, you have to change your mindset. And it isn't until you change your mindset that you change your life. So in order to make boredom work for you, what you have to do is see everything as an opportunity. See everything as an opportunity for growth, man. I don't know, like, it don't matter what you do, man. It don't matter what you do. You have to see everything as an opportunity to progress and be able to build yourself better and higher so let me explain if you bored then that mean obviously that you feel like um you done did everything or you got too much time on your hands compared to how much task that you have to do so if basically if you got time to be bored you got time to improve yourself you got time to go work on something you got time to go do a new task one thing i would suggest man if you bored step number one go out into the city go explore this is especially if you at a new town or somewhere you've been at less than two or three years and you don't know all the ins and outs of the place. Go explore the city, man. Go go to the uh go to a party or something. Go to the club. You don't even got a drink, man. Go to the grocery store. Go to the pool. It don't matter wherever you go, man. Just go out and explore and make friends because the reason I say see everything as an opportunity. You might see it as, okay, you're just going out to make friends. You're going out to explore because you're bored. You never know. One of those people that you meet at that party or that grocery store or the, that water park or that beach, you might can network. And then next thing you know, you find yourself sitting in at a, a lucrative deal or something like that. Next thing you know, you find yourself friends of friends building a social circle. And you got a homie that, that know key pointers to how to get a million dollars or how to invest insider you know insider information that could help you elevate your game or whatever else that you was trying to do just by going out and talking to people man networking indirectly so that's why you should always be trying to find something else or make new friends and i'm not saying that you got to just be straight friendly to everybody that you see walking and talking to choose wisely obviously but don't be so quick to shut people out just based off of your pre-consumptions or something that you might think of, like prejudice thoughts, man. Cause you never know who can help you, for real. And it's not about getting help, but you never know, uh, you never know who people are, right? So, next thing you do, if you sit at home board, learn something to help you free yourself financially, man. I can't preach this enough. It's not about being filthy rich and taking over the whole world, having the most money, but you got to understand the power and the freedom that comes with being financially literate. So, it's so many videos you could look up, so much content, so many articles. You got to go search that up, uh, especially start with investing. I know people got these big dreams and aspirations, buying vending machines, drop shipping, all of that stuff. Eventually, like you'll work yourself up to that level, but you got to get to the entry points. You got to get through those first. So if you want to do something, start off to uh, help you free yourself financially, man. Set up, set, set you up a credit card first of all, and then route all of those payments that you would usually pay on your regular card through the credit card, and then just pay the credit card off. Easy way to build credit right there. That's what I just started doing. Look up how to do investments, how to start in Robinhood. Put your money in a good stock, man. Put your money in a safe stock. You know, make a few trades, take some risk, lose $100, gain $300 back on top of that. But do something to help yourself work towards the goal of being financially free. Because trust me, you're going to be mad that you didn't try it. 
back then you it's gonna be you know you always keep putting something off and it's like you whatever how much farther you are you always look back and could have been like man I should have started sooner than that for example you can look at it right now and be like man if I would have started or if I would have made this investment in this uh, Dogecoin or Shiba or whatever man I would have been had like ten thousand dollars right now and then you let the opportunity pass you up two months down the line it's more money you could have made but now you're looking back again so just start something like i said bro in the last video right you can start something but you got to set yourself up for success to be able to start properly so work on that and work the kinks out and then you'll be good so one thing that never fails if you're bored get a workout in bro Get a workout in, bro. Half of us ain't nowhere near where we want to be fitness-wise, whether it's aesthetics, whether it's strength, and you always got room to improve on your fitness, man. The human body is capable of crazy feats and amazing things. So if you're just sitting in your room, you know, or get up out your bed, get you a workout in, man. Get you a little workout in, an hour workout. I promise you'll feel way better that you did and put your time to useful. Matter of fact, after I get done doing this video, I'm probably about to go work out outside right now. And it's nighttime. It's like what? Nine? Yeah, it's nine right now, but I had my family visiting this weekend, so I couldn't really hit the gym like that. But best believe after this video, I'm probably about to make a little gym vlog and go get that work in so we're gonna see that man and last but not least of things that you could do when you're bored if you're bored because you feel like you already accomplished all your goals which i know is probably not the case more than likely judging off like the statistics of how many people um would be in this situation but if you're bored because you feel like oh I accomplished all of my goals, man. It's no nowhere else I can go higher. Trust me. If you don't have a million dollars, you can go higher. Trust me. If you ain't as fit as you want to be, you can go higher. If you can't go right now, go to sleep and be set. If you don't go to work for the next five days, you can go higher, bro. So it's, it's always some room for improvement. I'm saying so if you feel like you accomplish all your goals in a rare occasion that you do, set new goals and reach higher points, man. Like a stock that keep on rising, higher lows and higher highs, it keep going up. We should never stop setting goals. And if I'm speaking to the right people here, I know I didn't have to tell you that, but I'm going to just keep it to you. I'm going to just give it to you as a reminder to set new goals. Once you accomplish those first ones, set more and just keep going, man. You're going to thank yourself way more in the long run. That's all I got for y'all today, man. Things to do when you're bored, use it to your advantage. You can never stop improving. You can never stop being great. You chose, like the video if you got something out of it. Comment if you want to see something else. Share it if you want somebody else to see it. And subscribe if you want to see the channel grow, man, if you see the potential. Thank y'all for watching this video. I'm about to go hit the gym. Let's get it.